Baruch Hashem, it is day number 188 of our daily study of Ramam Sefer Mitzvahs. And in the three chapters a day study track of Mishnah Torah, we are still in Hilchas Shkogais. Shkogais means inadvertent sins. Uh, specifically chapters 6, 7, and 8 of those halachas. Now, you know how we learn Sefer Mitzvahs. Uh, we, we don't go in the order of the 613 commandments as they are listed in Sefer Mitzvahs. What we do is we look at what's being studied currently in the three chapters of Mishnah Torah, right? Mishnah Torah is also by the Rambam. It's a much longer work. It's a much more detailed work. It's 14 books altogether. Um, what we do is we go according to what's being studied in the three chapters a day study track of Mishnah Torah. That's three chapters a day in order to finish the entire Mishnah Torah in a year, a little a little bit less than a year. So as such, what will happen is, depending on the chapters that are being studied in the three chapters of Mishnah Torah, sometimes we'll have a lot of mitzvahs to study in a day, sometimes we'll have less mitzvahs to study in a day, and sometimes even you'll have a section where there are many, many chapters, so we're studying it for many, many days in the three chapters of day of Mishnah Torah, but that section of halacha is only based on a few mitzvahs. So what ends up happening is we'll repeat some of those mitzvahs for more than one day. And that's what's happening today. This has happened before. It's happening again right now. So we have a repeat right now. Um, positive commandment 70, which is the ashram taloi, the call it doubtful guilt offering. And I'll explain again what that is. Um, we said the archetypical scenario is that somebody has in front of him two pieces of meat, shuman and chalif, permissible meat and forbidden meat. He ate one and not the other, but he doesn't know which one he ate. So he may have done a sin, he may not have. In that case, he brings an ashim toloi. Uh, why doesn't he just bring a chatas just in case? It doesn't work that way. A chatas can only be brought when somebody knows for sure he did the sin. Now, I just want to clarify that, by the way. You're going to say, hold on, I thought this whole section is called shkogis, inadvertent sins. Then how could he know that he did it if it's inadvertent? Okay, that's, that's what I want to explain. If a person does a sin, bemaze it, God forbid, he intentionally does it, he cannot bring a chatas. A chatas does not atone. A sin offering does not atone for a purposeful sin. It's only for an inadvertent sin, b'shoigeg. That's that word, shoigig or shkogais, the plural. Okay, so what does it mean he knows after the fact? He knows after the fact. After the fact, somebody says to him, hey, you can't do that. He says, I can't? Oh, no. And he brings a chatas. Okay, so he knows he did a sin. He just didn't realize at the time that he was doing a sin. That's what it means, shoigig. The ashram toloi is that he cannot for sure ascertain whether or not he did the sin. Now, as we explained yesterday, if later on there will be some forensic evidence presented where they can reconstruct the crime scene, so to speak, and say, no, 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 for sure you did do it, then he'll bring a chatas. And the ashram toli that he already brought does not cover the fact that he is now obligated to bring the chatas now that he knows for sure that he did it. Uh, I didn't read this yesterday. I'll read it today. The verse that this comes from, this idea of the ashram toli, is from Vayikra, the book of Leviticus, uh, chapter 5, verse 17. It says, V'im nefesh ki sechta, if there is a person, he uses the word nefesh, which means a soul, but it means here a person who sins, Va'asasa achas mekol mitzvahs Hashem asher loi sa'aseno, he does one of the mitzvahs that he's not supposed to do, meaning he transgresses, V'layoda, and he doesn't know, Vashem, and he's guilty, Vanasa Avene, he should bear his transgression. So Vale Yoda, he doesn't know, that's what that is talking about. This is what our sages refer to as Lai Haida. It's not known to him. What's not known to him? It's not known to him whether or not indeed a sin was transgressed. Okay? All right, we're gonna continue. Uh, with Hilchas Shkogais and mitzvahs that are uh, related to that subject tomorrow, God willing.